Hello YouTube and welcome to another MongoDB tutorial. So in this video I will show you how to secure MongoDB when in a Docker container. So are you ready? Let's get started. So as you have seen on my previous video, I run actually a MongoDB as a container using this command. I wanted just to mention that I made a mistake actually here we and you are mapping your home directory with the data directory in MongoDB. There is no capital D in the data folder in the container. Actually it's small d not uh, capital D. Okay. So actually when you run this container, let's run it here. I'm running MongoDB version 4.0.4. Let's run it. Okay, now our container is running. Let's verify that, but using the command ps docker. Here we go. So as you can see, the docker is running. So let's connect to it using shell. So here actually, as you can see, I have successfully connected to the shell of MongoDB. So I don't need any password. I don't need any authentication, okay, or username. I just enter and I can access all the databases and execute all the commands. So for example, I can execute show DBs. It shows me all the databases that I have access to. I can switch to the admin database. Okay, here we go. I can show, for example, collections of this admin database. Okay, there is no collection. Also, there is no users. Okay, here we go. But how can I secure this container actually using authentication? So, by authentication, you have to authenticate yourself with the username and a password. So actually, in order to do that, it's pretty, pretty simple in a container. So first of all, let me exit from this command. And also, I'm going to actually stop this container and run it again with the option this time. So first of all, let me stop this container with sudo docker stop and container name so here as you can see the name is uh, recursing show because docker each time give a random name here we go now it stopped if execute this command i have no running container so i will run the same command as the previous one i mean this one but here we have to add an option at the end dash dash auth for authentication okay so and then i will actually run this container here we go let's verify it's running so it's running with this time the name is dazzling robin okay it doesn't matter so in order to create a user for this uh, mongodb database I have to switch to, of course, to the shell. Here we go. So now I am on the shell. We have to execute a command for tp create user. Okay. So first of all, I have to switch to the admin database. Here we go. You can verify that bit using just the tp, which shows the current database that you are in. So I am an admin database. Okay. So once you are actually in the admin database, you can simply execute this command here. I will show you. Actually, it's on my uh, text editor here. So the command is db.createUser, okay? So the username is actually Amina. I choose this one because it's my name. And for the password, you can choose whatever strong password you want. And here there are the roles. So the roles is actually the authorization 
what this user can do so here you can see that I give the role user admin any database so this user Amina can actually admin any database so it has all the privileges okay and the DP is of course because I am end admin database so using this create user command we can actually create this user using this role and we can log in into our MongoDB using these credentials so first of all let me just copy this one and paste it into my shell here we go so now let's enter here we go could not add use Q user requires authentication okay so this is an exception because it doesn't allows me to create this user you know why because I execute this command using the odd option here okay so that's why so let's first stop this docker container and run the command once again and show you how we can actually create this user so sudo docker ps so not docker ps but we have to stop first of all this image so as you can see the image is name is Dazlin Robin okay make sure to write it to spell it well so you can see Robin Dazlin Dazlin it's here underscore here we go now the container is stopped so let's run once again the, the command to run the image but without this option auto authentication okay so let's run it so now the container has been created let's show it actually the name is Dazlin Jimison this time doesn't matter so let's log on using shell mongo here we go now we are on the shell let's use the admin or access actually the admin database now we can create our using using the same command here we go so as you can see now we have successfully added the user amino the password it doesn't show here actually but you can see it above its password with some special characters for example arobask in the after the p and the zero after the w so you can choose whatever password you want so now that we have created this user we can this time log on to the mongodb database using this credentials okay so as you can see now i can execute whatever command i want okay so let's exit from the MongoDB okay but remember if you are not using actually a container if you are using just you have installed MongoDB into your uh, system you have to restart the service okay in order to get that so now let's try to log on to MongoDB using these credentials so this time if you want to log on to mongodb you are not going just to write mongodb but you have also to specify the user name okay so in my case it's amina and dash p for the password and here it will ask you for the password and of course you have to enter the same password so for example let me just enter random one not the one that i have specified so you can see here it has show me the error authentication failed okay because i provided a wrong password 
So now let's connect to it, but this time using the correct one, which is P, if my memory is good, is this one. And here we go. Now I can enter my database, okay? I can switch to the admin database. Of course, I can show the DBs, different databases that I have. Okay, I can also show the users. Normally now I have a user called Amina. Okay, you can see and the database is admin and the role is user admin any database. Okay, so as you can see using just this create user command, you can actually turn on authentication in the MongoDB database. But remember that only works if you are running MongoDB in a container, okay? But if you are running MongoDB into your system, you have actually to change parameter in your etc mongodb.conf file. You have to enable security in this in that file. But I will show you that in the coming videos. But here in container, all you have to do is to create user and use the option dash dash auth when you are actually running the image into your MongoDB, okay? So as always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye-bye.